The last couple of problems I want to do are when we are given a trig graph. So I've got this already set up. This is problem 41 <clears throat> out of your Math 137 face-to-face -face textbook. So here's problem 41. Here's a graph. And we're going to ask to determine the amplitude, period, the phase shift, and then come up with the equation of this graph. And we're told, and we have to be told, we're told for both the problems I'm going to do to um, be like sine waves. It's a sine wave. So the standard equation of a sine wave is A times sine of BX plus C. So eventually what I'm going to need to determine the equation is the values of A, B, and C. And I'm going to get the values of A, B, and C by looking at the graph and figuring out the amplitude and period of phase shift. Because if, if I know the amplitude and period of phase shift, that gives me a way to calculate A, B, and C. Then I can plug them in, and I'll have the equation. So let's do that. We need to figure out the amplitude, the period, and the phase shift. Amplitude is always the easy one, right? The high and the low. Looks like it goes from 4 to negative 4. Therefore, the amplitude is 4, which means I know that A is 4. So I can actually go down here and plug in 4. Now, the period is also not too difficult. What I normally do is I like to start out when x is 0 and then see how far I have to go until it starts to repeat. So now it's going low, high, and it gets back to 0 and it's going low again. So it looks like this is where it repeats. We went from 0 to 2 pi. Looks like the period is 2 pi, but I know the period is 2 pi over b. Well, that's pretty easy to solve. Looks like b has to be 1. So if I plug in 1 for b, now I need to figure out c. And the way we're going to figure out c is by using the phase shift. Because I know, remember, the phase shift equals negative c over b. Phase shift is always tricky, so I have to look at this graph and see what the phase shift is. And actually, sort of the sneaky little thing you don't realize in trig is that there's two possible phase shifts. It's according to which direction you want to shift your graph. Now, in this problem, it basically they want us to end up, I think, with a positive, a positive number for C here. So because of that, we know the phase shift is negative C over B. So I think what if I want to have B, if I want C to be a positive number, I believe the phase shift needs to be negative. So. I'm going to assume that, and we'll see if it works out. So let's do that. So the idea with the phase shift is pretty tricky because what you have to do is you have to sort of, and here I don't want to really want to write on this, but you have to imagine yourself drawing a, in this case, a sine wave. So sine starts low and then goes high and then low. So if you think about here and then going high, from here to here, I think that's how much it's shifted. So it looks like it shifted a distance of like negative pi, right? So if I go like this and I say how far to get over here, it's negative pi.
since I know it B is 1, therefore negative C equals negative pi, and C equals pi. So I'm going to say the equation of that graph is 4 times sine of x plus pi. And if I look at my answers, that's what I have. So there we go. Let's do one more. We're going to do 42. Move it over here so I have room to work. Same idea. Once again, this is going to be, they want it in the form of a sine wave, so A times sine BX plus C. Amplitude. Looks like it goes from 3 to minus 3. It looks like amplitude's 3, which is A. period, which I know is 2 pi over b. So if I start here when x is 0, I'm here at the high point, and it goes low, comes back high. How far have I gone? From 0 to pi. Looks like the period is pi. Now if I want to solve for b, I multiply both sides by b, divide both sides by pi. Well, the pi's cancel out. Looks like b is going to be 2. Now, once again, the phase shift is sort of the tricky part. This is supposed to be a sine wave. Look at here. When it's 0, it's high, which is not correct. A sine wave should be low, should be zero, when the angle is zero. So the graph is actually down here, and then it goes high. So it looks like this is the difference, this is how much it's shifted, and it looks like to me it's pi over four. Each one of these tick marks is pi over four. So my guess is, Uh, if I were to know that, it would be like this. The phase shift is negative pi over 4, because you move it that way a little bit. Which is, so negative pi over 4 is negative c over b. So this is some algebra here. Well, the negatives cancel out. And b is 2. Multiply both sides by 2, it looks like. C is pi over 2. So it looks like the equation for that graph is y equals 3 times sine of 2x plus pi over 2, and that looks correct. All right, a little tricky. Actually, the amplitude and period are pretty straightforward. The phase shift is where it gets a little hairy, and you just have to visualize the standard sine or cosine wave and then see how far you have to move to get to your graph. All right, so that wraps up pretty much a pretty good sampling of all the review problems and the kinds of problems you should see on the test.